Are you possibly considering a Labrador or a German Shorthair Pointer for your next dog? If so, this is the video for you as we will compare these two breeds side by side so you can pick the breed that best fits into your tastes and your lifestyle. Welcome back to the Femre Labrador Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist. I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to you learning everything you could ever want to know about the Labrador. So if you love them as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Labrador video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll start off with breaking down the appearance of these two breeds. Now, being one of the most popular breeds in the world, the Lab has a reasonably familiar appearance. Those floppy ears, the dark, enthusiastic and happy gaze and that otter-like tail. They have a short, water-repellent double coat which comes in three primary colours, yellow, chocolate and black. And this breed is of medium size and can be up to 24 and a half inches tall and weigh up to 80 pounds. Now the German Shorthead Pointer shares some features with the Lab as they are both hunting dogs, the floppy ears for one, the GSP short coat comes in various colours such as solids, patched, roan patterns being the most popular, however the tail of this breed is traditionally docked, however some countries have outlawed that practice like here in the UK, so a long tailed German Shorthead Pointer is becoming a more common sight. This breed is slightly more lean in comparison to the Lab, though they are fairly similar in size, and the German Shorthaired Pointer can get up to around 25 inches tall and weigh up to around 80 pounds. Now, both the Lab and German Shorthaired Pointers are working breeds and have a high demand for exercise and mental stimulation. Without it, they can become incredibly destructive. This can be a challenge for the aspiring Lab or GSP owner as fully draining their massive reserves of energy can be quite the challenge. Even if you can wear them down enough to settle them down, they will be raring to go as soon as you say the word. Grooming requirements are also pretty similar between these two breeds. They have short coats, which but they do shed regularly. They will need to be brushed at least once a week, but the process is relatively simple, as it can be achieved with a quick once over with some rubber grooming mitts or a firm hair bristle brush. The Lab and the GSP also share a similar life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. There are some health concerns in both breeds though, neither has a large population strongly affected by genetic issues. Both suffer from elbow and hip dysplasia and can be at the risk for bloat. Labrador specific problems include eye problems, EID which is exercise induced collapse. For the German short hair pointer, heart issues, eye problems and cone degeneration which can lead to day blindness are the main concerns. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey, but I'll let you get back to the video you were just watching. Now, as we move forward with the rest of the video, we're going to be comparing these two uh, breeds, but we have to be under the assumption that they have both been given proper socialisation and training from a young age and that they are a really good representation of their disposition and temperament for their breed standards. That way we can make a fair comparison of the two. So it should call, also come as no surprise the temperament and social needs with both of these breeds are also somewhat similar. The Lab is more friendly and outgoing where the GSP can be a little more cautious towards strangers at first and they make good alert dogs. The Lab is also more socially demanding. However, both the GSP and the Lab have an absolute non-negotiable need to be with their people and a fully integrated family member. Now, these two breeds are intelligent ones. Both are people pleasers and love to be doing something, anything, which contributes to them being biddable and easy to train. Turning your training routines into a type of game can help the Labrador or the GSP stay more engaged and it will also help get more out of that insatiable energy so that they will better relax and be calm in the home. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two fascinating and glorious hunting breeds that are becoming incredibly popular family companions as well. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. And I can see you on the next episode of the Femrir Labrador Show.